This is Pat Solver with the Dr. Ways In, and we have a really exciting story today. Actually, it's a bit of a scoop. I have with me today Connor Landgraf, who's the founder and CEO of Echo, Echo Devices, and he has an amazing stethoscope to tell us about. So, Connor, welcome. Thanks for having me. Um, so, like you said, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Echo Devices, and um, we just got FDA clearance for a uh, smartphone-enabled stethoscope add-on um, that works with analog stethoscopes. So I want to stop there because this is a big deal. He kind of just let that roll by, but getting FDA clearance is something that a lot of young entrepreneurs are actually very nervous about. And I've actually heard people say, oh, we're not doing this and this and this because we don't want to have to go through FDA. So um, tell us, uh, how were you able to get FDA clearance so quickly. Tell us first a little bit about the stethoscope and how it's different from the kind of stethoscope that I had when I was in practice, mm -hmm. and then tell us the story of the FDA. Sure. So the stethoscope itself, um, this is kind of an example of it right here. So this is a standard analog stethoscope right here, just the one that almost every single clinician in the U.S. has. And what you can do with it is you can pull the head off of the stethoscope. It takes a little bit of force, but you can pull it off. And uh, this is the echo core and it attaches in line on the analog stethoscope and we include an adapter. So you put that adapter in there. And just like that, now the Equicore is in line on the analog stethoscope. And what's really cool is that when it's off, it acts exactly like the normal analog stethoscope. Nothing's different about it, the sound quality is the same. And then when you turn it on, and you'll see the blue light turn on then, um, you can actually change the volume and you'll hear the volume change in the earpieces now because it's an amplified uh, version of, of the audio from the stethoscope. And then now it's streaming the heart sounds in real time via Bluetooth to the physician's smartphone or tablet, which can then pick that up, visualize it, record it, play it back and ha have all that functionality there. And then if they wanna go back to the analog mode, they just push it to the other side and it's exactly the stethoscope that they had before. So you're doing two things to help me. Um, one is all those heart sounds that I really couldn't hear very well anyway. Um, the soft S3, you know, these uh, that, that actually are very important clinically. Right. You're going to make me hear those better. Exactly. And you're also going to allow me to see them. Exactly. So that you can see and hear the, the, the representation of that sound. So you could see there's the S1, there's the S2, here's the S3, here's the S4, you know, I can see a split S1. And when you have the, both the visual and the auditory aspects of it, it makes it so much more powerful for the clinician and gives them so much more ability to have confidence and be able to diagnose those hard to hear sounds. So I have my stethoscope on and I have my app in my hand and let's see, do I have enough hands to do this? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we tried to design it to be as user-friendly as possible. And so you can use the app with a single hand. You could also just set the, the, uh, the iPhone or iPad on the, on a table in the operating room or in the, in the exam room. Um, and then use the, uh, echo core without even touching the app. Um, I'm assuming you could also project it onto a larger screen. So if you were teaching everybody could uh, take a look at it. Is that the case? Absolutely. We've seen a lot of physicians express interest in using it for teaching so they can record an interesting you know, murmur and then be able to show that to their students at a future date, something that's totally impossible with an analog stethoscope. So talk to me a little bit about um, how this could help uh, people who aren't cardiologists, the general practitioner whose skills may have been really good when they were in medical school and just, you know, eroded a little bit over time with respect to this part of the physical exam. Um, how can this help them? For the primary care physicians, we really see that it's the ability to um, record those heart sounds for future reference to, like we said, see the representation of the heart sounds visually, um, and then also attach them to a patient's medical record. So if you're a primary care physician and um, some fraction of your patients have a benign murmur, stills murmur, for example, to be able to track that over time is really important to them. And it's very hard to do in the, in the current system because you have to annotate and try to describe a heart murmur um, in a few sentences, which is very, very challenging and very subjective as well. Can I um, send it by email or <laughs> text to my local cardiologist or maybe the cardiologist in, in San Francisco? Absolutely. So we built in some sharing functionality so that if you record a heart sound segment and attach it to a patient's medical record, you can then share that record as well with other clinicians. So you could share it with a cardiologist. It opens up opportunities for um, 
remote telemedicine as well. You could have a primary care physician or a PA or a nurse assistant recording the heart sounds and then sending them on to a specialist and asking for their feedback on them and then ha- closing that loop um, while the patient's still in the room because it all happens in real time. Well, it's very exciting because this is, uh, I think, the decade of telemedicine. This is when all of these kinds of tools, plus the sophistication of the video and um, the other kinds of interesting algorithms that are coming out to support telemedicine really seem uh, like um, it's going to give consumers so many more options than we had in the past. So let's uh, close here by talking a little bit about the dreaded FDA. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you have to do to be able to get this approved? Yeah, it's the FDA is, uh, it serves a very important purpose in regulating medical devices. And so when we started the company, we knew that that was something we wanted to tackle. We wanted to um, do it the right way and, and get cleared by the FDA. Um, so it was a 510K process. Um, it's a class, Tell us what that is. It's a class two medical device. So it's, it's kind of in the middle category of risk. Um, and so there was a lot of um, electrical testing that it went into it, a lot of biocompatibility testing, a lot of wireless emissions testing. Um, it's a really thorough process that the FDA has for these types of medical devices to make sure that uh, you've designed the device to meet the specifications of the physician and what they need. That what, we, what you designed then ended up being what was built, actually, and that testing the devices that you built are exactly meeting the specifications that you designed. Um, and then making sure that they meet all the applicable standards that are regulations set for electrical safety and wireless coexistence testing. So it was a very, very, very steep learning curve, but um, we're very glad we did it. And we think that uh, um, getting cleared by the FDA is a uh, very exciting um, mark from the the federal government and something that we think that um, should uh, allow physicians to have confidence in the product that we've built. Well, I want to congratulate you because, as I say, I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs. And this is uh, sometimes you'd think it was the Great Wall of China, right? It really seems insurmountable to a lot of people. So now that you're FDA cleared, does that mean you're ready to sell the product? Can people? When will they be able to go to their local uh, online store and and get their hands on an Echo? Echo goes on sale uh, today online. And uh, we are working with a number of different medical device distributors over the next few months. So hopefully you'll see it in uh, you know, your GPO or your other purchasing group um, in the next few months. But you can always purchase it online at echodevices.com. Well, thank you very much. And again, congratulations. This is really uh, an exciting breakthrough. Thank you. Thank you.